Hey guys, technical with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your phone if your alarm is not working on your iPhone. Now, there could be multiple reasons why the alarm isn't going off, it's not working as you expect it to, and we're going to go through the troubleshooting steps, and hopefully by the end of the video, it will resolve your problem. So, let's get started. So, first thing is when it comes to alarm clock, first thing, of course, make sure that your volume is up. So, if it's silent like this, so there's volume buttons on the left-hand side of your phone, you always want to make sure the volume is turned up all the way of here so that you know that when the alarm actually goes up you can actually hear it the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up uh, the actual clock app on your phone and then go to alarms themselves so you'll see here here the alarms are right there and then you might have multiple alarms you can add alarm by clicking here of course but if you have alarm existingly that doesn't work for example this one right you want to click on it take a look at the details right sometimes when you set alarm there's things like repeat if you want it to repeat on a certain day make sure just verify the accuracy of that alarm is correct the days that you want to select sometimes you mistakenly unselect one or it just got unselected somehow so make sure that is correct also the sound helps to kind of figure that out and if you also want to be really sure that the alarm works you can also go ahead and delete alarm and create a new one with all the settings just to make sure if that alarm you think isn't working you know creating a new one definitely helps as well by deleting the existing one now after you verify the accuracy and you know that all the setting is looking right for you the next thing you want to go ahead and check out is to go in and if you're using your health app to going to schedule your sleep schedule you want to go ahead and open that up now if if you don't use the health app you might want to skip that but for some reason if you are using it go ahead open up health here and if you are you'll notice here a couple of options here going on here on the app itself but there's an option for a sleep here so you'll find sleep here if you click on it you'll see here there's a full schedule option here for bedtime and such uh, you want to kind of take a look at that and you want to click on that once you click on that you want to go ahead and edit this and we're going to go ahead and delete this schedule just to make sure to verify that our alarm works and then you can set it up again just to make sure that doesn't interfere with your uh, alarm as well so you're going to delete that the other thing you want to do is go into your settings here now they're on the on the newer phones or the newer ios update there's something called focus mode starting with ios 15. now there's an option for sleep mode here as well you want to make sure that if you're using this mode go ahead and uh, delete it or kind of take a look at what are the hours because if you're sleeping certain hours and you set an alarm that alarm would be mute here so what i recommend is deleting that focus mode itself or adjusting the schedule as well here to make sure that the alarm doesn't fall within those time frame as well now after you have done that and you know that you're not using focus mode and sleep schedule isn't uh, affecting your uh, or through the help uh, affecting your alarm clock the next thing to verify is your phone's bluetooth connectivity so in the settings here on your bluetooth option what you want to make sure that your phone is not connected to any sort of external bluetooth devices and the reason why that is is that if the alarm goes off and it's connected to like something that is a speaker type of um, option that you have what it will do is it will redirect that alarm sound there and you won't be able to hear the alarm going off so make sure if you want to disconnect it you click on the eye icon and then you can go ahead and forget this device or simply click turn off the bluetooth completely if you want to just verify that it's not connecting with anything by just turning that off like that as well so either way it works so after you have done so that, the next thing you want to do if you're having the issue is doing a force restart to do a force restart on your iphone you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button just like that now you're not going to slide to power off you just keep on holding that side button on the right hand side till the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo reappear again and then we're going to let go of that side button so keep on holding and then once you see the apple logo let go of it and again it's volume up and down really quick on the left hand side and then you're going to hold that side button and all this does is restarts the phone and reloads the code now it doesn't delete anything on your on your phone like photos videos apps any of your personal data or media at all it's just a nice way to restart your phone fixing any sort of software related issue that could be impacting your phone now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing to do is go ahead and into your settings here go to general and then go to software update and make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version by going 
ahead and click on download and installing the latest update and the reason why you want to do that is sometimes with the previous update could have broken some functionalities it's good to make sure your phone is up to date when you're doing this update keep in mind the size of it, it could take you somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes make sure on a good internet connection using Wi-Fi or cellular data or and also you make sure your phone is at least 50% or more now after you have done that and it's still not working the last thing you can pretty much do is go into settings again go to general and this time we're gonna go down all the way here where it says transfer or reset iPhone you're gonna click on that and then here you click on the first option for reset and the reset that we want to do is the very first one which is uh, reset all settings but before you do that can understand what this does this will reset things like your uh, network settings which is things like VPN or Wi-Fi say password and things like that it will also reset things like your keyboard dictionary if you add a certain words things around home screen layout if you made a custom layout and also settings around privacy and location as well but again it is needed if your alarm really doesn't work it's kind of one of the very last things to do so hopefully now that we've gone through all the troubleshooting steps, your phone works and everything is good to go. And if this video is helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.